Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today for a fun little stress-free Saturday project, I figured I'd make a one-page wonder out of an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So it won't be a 12 by 12. This is 8.5 by 11 um, craft paper. Okay, so yeah, it only measures 8.5 by 11 okay so um, yeah I just wanted to do a little something I saw this on five minute crafts and figured everyone has eight and a half by 11 even if you have copy paper this is um, not even cardstock it's you know lightweight craft paper okay and um, yeah let's just let's just play with stuff make stuff all right it's Saturday just stress free okay I'll be right back okay so to do this project we're going to need our large scoreboard okay i hope you guys have one um if you don't i will put the measurements in the description down below and i'll try to put them on the screen as well as we go so um let's do that <laughs> all right so i'm just going to give you the um the scores that we're going to need for this project and they're a little tricky so you're going to have to um considering thinking outside the box for this one um, five minute crafts was not very descriptive in their measurements um, so I had to figure some of this stuff out on my own so I'm just going to give you the measurements that I came up with just so that uh, we can get through this project oh did I show you what we're making <laughs> No, I didn't. We're making the <laughs> five minute crafts call this a uh, paper wallet. Okay, so basically it's just a folded section that you can tuck money into. Okay, that's what they're considering it. I suppose there was a scenario that they played out where someone lost their wallet or something like that. Anyway, they made one out of paper. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm calling this a six pocket tuck. All right, and I'll show you what I mean. And for this, for for example, you can stitch this directly into your junk journal, which is what I'm going to do with mine. Um, I've decorated some other ones with um, the Tim Holtz Feel Notes stamping pack. And um, yeah, let me just show you where all the pockets are. Okay, so here is what it looks like on the outside okay this is what it looks like on the inside and here is the wallet section if you were to stitch this into a journal um, this one's made out of heavy uh, cardstock but if you were to stitch this into a journal let me just show you where your pockets would be you have one back here okay and a fairly decent sized tag can fit down in there Okay, you have one over here. Okay, and again, this is a really, a really heavy duty tag. It's like four and a quarter by two and a half or two and three quarters or so. Okay, so that fits down in, in both sides of these. And then you have this large pocket back here. If you decide to keep this as a removable, okay, you have a very large pocket here. And if you decide to keep it as a folded wallet or stitch it into a, a um, signature, you have one pocket here and one pocket there. So that's one, two, three, and four so far, okay? Then we have these two little pockets in here. You got a pocket here and a pocket here. Okay, so that's two pockets on on the inside of the wallet or folder or let's see what are we going to call this a six pocket um six <laughs> i don't know it'll it'll be something before the end of <laughs> before i'm done recording i will come up with the name for this okay so there i've made this many prototypes okay and we're gonna do one together right now let's do it all right so for the first scores we're going to score both ends of the paper on the vertical so the long side 
is vertical the 11 is here and the eight and a half is over here okay so we're going to score at eight and a quarter i'm sorry i've already started you off wrong let's score at eight and one eighth okay eight and one eighth and over here on this side we're going to score at three eighths okay but if you're having a problem doing it from the left you can always rotate the page and put it again at eight and one eighth because what we really need is a, a three quarter uh sorry a three eighths of an inch um flap on both sides of the paper okay so there's our score mark it's three eighths of an inch on both sides all right so if you were to score it here you would score it at the three eighths over here we're scoring it at eight and, and one eighth but if you can't score it on both sides you can score it here at eight and one eighth and then just flip the page around and score it again at eight and one eighth okay it's the same same thing it's three eighths of an inch in all right hope that was not confusing already okay so the, for the next score mark we're going to make is at um let's do it at actually no we're going to flip rotate the paper on its horizontal okay so now 11 is here and eight and a half is here i'm going to try to make this as simple as i can it may get a little uh, confusing but just stay with me okay i promise it'll it'll work out uh, we're going to go here at two and three quarters so you're going to score all the way down two and three quarters you're then going to score at five and a half okay and then you're going to score here at eight and a quarter all right so now we have three additional score marks in the middle now you want to determine which one is your top section versus your bottom section okay so i'm just going to rotate the paper again on the on the vertical this will be my top this is now my bottom and not in this first section here so this is quadrant one right here all right so not in this section in the second section from the top we're going to put some additional score marks that are unconventional all right so let me just show you what i'm talking about you're not going to score in this section you're going to score in this section here and how you're going to do that you're going to start at two and a half right this is my two and a half and i'm going to not start scoring here but i will score once i get down into the right section so right here i've scored two and a half okay and yes my first score mark was a slightly off so that's what i'm saying like you have to just just think outside the box a little bit on how we how we come up with these score marks okay so there's my two and a half score mark and then on the other side you're going to score at six but again not in this first section you're going to come all the way down till you get to the second section and put your score mark in there so we have one at two and a half and then one at six okay now we're going to rotate our paper again um hang on let me just see if we're missing any okay so yeah so in the middle here we're going to score at four and a quarter as well so again you're going to come down to the second section and score at four and a quarter all right so we have two and a half four and a quarter and then six now we're going to rotate our paper okay I've rotated my paper again with the top part on the right and I'm going to score at six and seven eighths so right in here in the area that we just scored so don't start at the top start here in the middle and score at six and seven eighths from the previous score marks that we've made okay so now we have like this little box here in the middle i don't know if you guys can see that but we have like a little square in the middle with um 
two cross marks so it looks like looks like a little window all right I think that's all the scoring we need I can go over it again with you just so that we're clear you're gonna score three eighths eight and one eighth okay and all the way down all right then you're gonna rotate your paper on the horizontal and you're gonna score at two and three quarters five and a half and then eight and a quarter okay then you want to score here at seven so you pull your line down through here okay do not start at the top just go down into the middle section we're scoring at seven rotating the paper and we are scoring at two and a half uh, four and a quarter in this middle section and then six also in the middle section avoiding this top part all right I hope that works out for you guys because this is not it's not that difficult really it really isn't I promise all right I'm gonna put my large scoreboard away and we're gonna do some folding okay and some cutting so this is the area that you want to cut and I will do it with you the same section that you've cut I mean that you scored your little box okay that's the flap that we want to cut off okay so we just cut that off right above it you're going to cut an, a triangle off of this top piece and a triangle off of the bottom piece okay so we have something that looks like that and then we're going to remove this area right in here let me just fold it over so I can see the score mark okay so this is the section that you want to cut off actually we can use our craft knife for this because I promise you we will need it again I'm just gonna use my craft knife and my ruler just so that I can get a nice clean cut I'm having a bit of an issue getting my scissor underneath okay so there we've cut away that area right there and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side just gonna put my ruler up against my score mark and cut away just in this area right here and I'm going to remove that and this okay and then I'm going to just cut this off at an angle with my ruler oops my ruler and my uh, and my craft knife and do the same thing over here okay this is what we've got so far so far so good now we're going to take our additional flaps at the bottom here and glue these down so we're going to fold this in on the score mark that we made and I'm just going to bone fold it for a nice tight crease do the same thing on the other side bone fold it for a nice tight crease and yes you can cut a triangle off on the bottoms as well to avoid additional bulk I'm just using PVA glue because it's right here in front of me ready to go and I'm just gluing this section down And I'm going to do the same exact thing over here. Okay. No muss, no fuss. And there we have this. Okay, so now it's time to cut away that middle section that we made up here, this window. I'm going to use my craft knife and my ruler. And I'm just going to cut away um, this first quadrant on the upper right corner so you have a window which has a little box in it we're gonna put our craft knife and our ruler lined up with from one score mark 
to the other from the center score mark to the other center score mark right in there okay so we just cut a little slit right there and I'm just gonna rotate my paper too much I'm just gonna use my ruler to um, guide me and we're gonna place it on the center score mark here and the center and the uh, center score mark over here and we're gonna cut again right through there okay so now we've done this all right and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side I'm just lining up the ruler with my center score marks now we have that we're just cutting out this middle diamond okay in case you guys are confused as to what I'm trying to accomplish here we're just going to remove this center diamond piece right in here okay so this is the piece that we've just removed and now it's time to fold the whole thing together at this point if you want to ink you can if you want to wait till the end it's also fine um, you want to roll your top part your top flap down and let's let's bone fold that in get a nice tight crease okay you're going to then fold up your bottom section and again a nice tight crease there and here we want to cut off this little triangle there and the triangle here okay and we've previously done these others but i just want to get a a more defined angle there okay so now we have that and you're going to fold it again over this way and bone fold everything down to make sure that it's nice tight and even okay and then you want to take your little flap that we have right here and we're going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of it and then tuck it into the section that we have back here that can be a little hairy that's why I'm going to use just my PVA glue I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and we're going to do one side at a time because I've done it where I've glued both sides together and or at the same time and it just didn't work out so now we're going to fold that in on our score mark that we made just like so okay all right and I'll do the other side the same way PVA glue and then just fold it over on that score mark and glue it down all right so now we have just tuck your fingers in just to make sure glue didn't get to anywhere you don't want it to be All right. so you can leave it like this and make it into a belly band All right, just glue down the top and the bottom on any journal page and then you still have you have one tuck here one tuck uh, here uh, where is it oh, back here okay you have one here still you got one down here as a matter of fact, yeah, if you were to um, make it into a belly band, you'd have this tuck that goes all the way through, okay, like so, or, you know, comes all the way to the top, um, like, like so, 
all right but um yeah we're gonna fold this in half to make it our little wallet pocket and I'm just gonna use my ruler and get it right on that crease where the diamond pieces meet and fold it over and that's it that's all that it is guys if you want I mean yeah <laughs> Do you want me to do it again? <laughs> I mean, we can go over it again. But by having it this way, and what I didn't do was glue down one of the sides, we now have two tucks over here. Didn't even realize that. Um, I'm trying to think, should I do it this way? Like make it two tucks, one here and there? Yeah, I guess it could do that. Or if you folded it the other way, it would be a solid tuck all the way down and then you can glue right in here. Okay, so let's let's work with that for a moment. All right, guys. So basically, um, if you put a little bead of glue right here, okay, that'll seal in this pocket up here. All right. Oh, goodness, if you, <laughs> I can't even get my card in there. Okay, so if you put a little bead of glue right here on this first lip, so here I'll put one right here. Okay, that closes in that pocket, and then we have the back pocket. All right, and then we still have this large pocket back here and uh, yeah and then we'll put another bead of glue on this side as well just on the front section so this front section right in here okay And that's pretty much it all right I'm not gonna make this any more complex than I've already done <laughs> I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me and me playing with paper and glue and you know just hanging out with you guys um, have a crafty day guys like go do something wonderful it's a stress-free Saturday a couple of uh, score marks some flips cuts and tears and we have a cool little thing to play with in our junk journals Stay naturally curious and I will definitely talk to you in the next one. Bye.